Welcome to the Fantasy Back Porch Hour. We are Sleeves, the Fantasy Optimist. I am Bear. This is Outlaw. Let's do it. Well, today we're going to go over the draft that we just had for the Keeper League, the 12 team Keeper League. The first team we're going to go over is yours, Bear, also known as Titties and Beer. Thank you. Why don't you let us know who you drafted and where you drafted them at? Oh, well. I'm elderly. I'm going to put on spectacles. First round, Matt Forte. Second round, Randall Cobb. I had no third round pick because I traded away to... Me, for Andrew Luck. In round four, though, with my trades, I did have four picks in the fourth round. They are, were, Wes Walker, Hakeem Nix, Matt Stafford... Bastard. Thank you. Stole that motherfucker from me. And Pierre Garçon. Round five, Ryan Matthews. Okay, don't fuck with me on that. Trust me, he's going to do well this year. That's why he's the fantasy. We'll fuck with you all year on that. Don't worry. Okay. We don't have to to waste time tonight. Fantasy eggplant. Round six, T.Y. Hilton. You're welcome. Stole that motherfucker from me, too. Round seven, Andrew Luck. I'm not on the first name. Your keeper. That was a keeper from last year. He is Andy Luck. Right now, it's Andrew. You should call him Handy. He'll do you better. He might. Bear's right. a little more formal than you. I am. Round eight, Cal Rudolph. Round nine, C.J. Spiller, my other keeper. I had no 10th round pick. Round 11, Vincent Brown. I had no 12. Round 13, Caleb Sturgis. Trust me, great kicker this year, y'all. Dolphins. Round 14, Michael Bush. Round 15, last round, I always take a defense. I draft for matchup. I took the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, and tonight we actually have a special guest with us. Yes, we do. Why First we... time ever on the Fantasy Back Porch Hour. Why don't we welcome little D over to us? Please. It's all flat. Oh, damn. Howdy, y'all. Look Howdy. Huge. <sighs> little is a misnomer, y'all. All right, little D. So which player do you like out of uh, Titties and Beer over here? Also Bears team. i got to say, there's a couple I'd like to talk about. Caleb Sturgis, you know, coming from Florida. Well, yeah. Big Gator fan right here. Oh, yeah. And but, now uh, he's a... Miami Dolphins. Yeah, yeah, true. I can so, like him now. <laughs> yeah. But, tonight I'd like to Go talk Gators. about CJ Spiller. <sighs> that was a nice pick he had. Especially being, it was a keeper pick. And being a, a, ninth, nine. a ninth round keeper. And this year he's going, he's going to round one and even a ten man pick. Yeah. A ten man he a ten man league, he's going. He's going to go number one. I mean, Easily. In the even first in the round, smaller, even wrong. in the small eight man leagues, he's still going in the first round in most leagues. I agree. He's an explosive running back. He's yeah. got a little injury worry, a little injury concern. But again, so, what running back does it? Yeah, really? name me one that doesn't. And sadly, I can't. In the first game this year, he's going to have more hands on him than what? a twenty man, a twenty year old, five foot eight, blonde haired, blue eyed, hundred and thirty pound guy going to prison for thirty years for the first time. He's going to be touched that much. I think that joke was a little long for me to get it. It, it, was, okay. a, it was a little long. A little long-winded. Though. I know. Hey. Bear's just remembering his uh, days in the joint. Oh. Uh, okay. Understandable. But again, you know, C.J. Spiller is a Buffalo <laughs> Bill. I, and that's one of the re- only reason I dislike him. It's well, a big reason to dislike him. Okay. Yeah. You know, Let's wait till we get to your... You know what I'm pissed off wait. about? I'm really pissed off about your team. Why? Matt Stafford. Well, why? why is that? Well, because he knew I was taking Matt Stafford. Oh, yeah! Oh, you really, you trade really threw a uh, you really trade threw a curveball at everybody. Get provided you can trade him. I mean, oh, I can trade. You, him. you already had Andy Luck as a keeper. In what? The sixth round? And seventh, seventh round? Luck. Seven. Seventh round. Seven. You had Andy Luck in the seventh round. Yes, I did. And you went ahead with your you had four fourth round picks and you I wasted did. one on Matt Stafford. It was the breast cancer round. <laughs> it's because your team color is pink. Okay. You're looking for all the positives. Hey, titties and beer. Yeah, exactly. it works. Oh, hey, I will check out any breast. For I, I, don't, I, I don't blame you. Uh-oh. See? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, Bobby won't let me touch it, though. He has big nipples. He has more hair than his brother. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> now, I did like that you went running back first. Uh, well, of course I'm going to. I mean, you have I'm, to. You have a choice. I cannot believe Forte dropped me. He honestly. did drop to you. He did. He did. Like, that was pretty shocking. I mean, I, I honestly thought I was taking Des well, Bryant. What did help out a lot was that accidental curveball when the guy didn't get logged in in time. And make sure, if your draft is at a certain time, make sure you're logged in on time to get your pick in, or else you end up accidentally drafting Percy Harvin. Yeah. And yeah. then you allow Matt Forte and Des Bryant and Larry Fitzgerald to fall to other players. Yeah. I mean, log in five minutes early. 
Really? Yeah. What's, it, what's it gonna cost you? Log in 30 minutes was, early. What else are you doing? Yeah. Make sure make sure your shit works. <laughs> yes. Then walk away, get your beer, get your smoke, whatever. Come yeah. back. If, it, you, if it's you're a in. money league, you're in. If it's a money league, get in as early yeah. as possible. Now, make sure and everything's going for you. If you're not drafting where money's involved, yeah, you need, you, you need to you get need with to the be. times. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gambling game. Yeah, it is. It, it, it yeah. is. You need, you need to put some money on the board. Otherwise, you know, what's the point? Exactly. You might as well be Bragging playing. Right. All right. Gambling All the game. Boy. That's why you went yeah. Randall Cobb in round two. You might as well be playing Farmville otherwise. No. You know where he was gambling at? Ryan fucking Matthews. Okay. Oh, Ryan. yeah. No doubt. Ryan okay. Matthews. More broken collar games than touchdowns last year. I mean, fifth I round, Ryan Matthews. Yeah. You could have had him in the 15th round. I don't think so. Well, you should have. Maybe it should have. Season. That's the only place to take them at. The sad part is the stupid bastards that I draft with would have taken them if I didn't. So I had so to. So let them. Yeah. I wanted them. Well, that that's why you're fantasy eggplant. Did you hear? You're the eggplant. Did you hear Outlaw's statistic there? More broken collarbones. I did. Touchdowns last year. I heard that. Not an exaggeration. Not at all. That's legit. Look that shit up. That's true. Now. You also got your fantasy crush, though. I did. I Pierre got Garcon. Garcon. You did. I did. You did. He will perform. For a week or two. Well, maybe orally. For enough money. <laughs> Possibly for none. Uh, yeah. You're a sexy beast. That's where we're in the v <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nothing sleeves <laughs> loves more than some yeah. gray chest hair. <laughs> but that's why he's a bear. I mean, look I at am. him. He's like the epitome of bear. So overall, look I, that up, y'all. <laughs> so overall, I think your team is decent. Wow, thank you. I mean, just I'm just being honest. No, it's fine, and I expect nothing less. Yeah, I mean, you, you do have trade fodder. I do. I mean, Matt Stafford and Andrew Luck, between the two of them, you, you, get you can get a better running back than I, right. I, and I will not Ryan Matthews. By, by week four, one of them will be gone, I believe. Thing is, though, I with do. what you have to work with for trade fodder, you have to capitalize on one of them. And I will, or else you're going to be in the middle of the pack again. I barely missed playoffs last year. That's still that's middle. middle. Of the pack. It is. No, that's top of the pack. Yeah. I'm sorry. Top. That's top. If of the If you pack. don't make the playoffs, you're middle of the pack. Okay. Five. Okay. Out of out of twelve teams, one through four is the top. Five through eight is the middle. Team five right here. So overall, I think like your your keepers were good, Thank especially you. where you kept them. Andy Luck and and, yeah. and CJ yeah. Spiller. I agree. You know, I agree. A, a seven oh, and that. nine. Yeah, I know. You're Awful. not going to get them in seven and nine in any other league. No. Well. Not. You can get Luck in round seven, provided everyone makes smart draft picks, because Luck could reasonably mm. fall in seven. Yes, but at the end of the year, do you really think Luck is a, a seven? No, seven? definitely no, not. No. He's you a can high pick him value up in seven. There. That, that's a good value at number Right, seven. you can pick him up in most formats in round seven. The other picks I really like of yours, you know, I like Randall Cobb getting him in the second, where you did. You know, granted, in a keeper league, there's a lot of people that were kept already in the first round and sure. in the second round, but you still mm-hmm. got Cobb there. Yeah. Forte in the first round is good. I love Wes Walker in PPR. Who I doesn't? Do uh, Caleb Sturgis as your kicker. I mean, I'm very pleased with that. You should be. And I am. You, you should be. He's a Gator, by the way. I don't know if I've yeah. said that. You did. He's a Dolphin now. Now a Dolphin. Once a Gator, always a Gator. Well, like the oh, one Gator okay. that didn't get arrested this year. Easy. Hey. Easy. <laughs> Just saying. I'm pretty sure Gillisley didn't get arrested. No. Ooh. No, he didn't. He's also a dolphin, though. It, also a dolphin. We do our research. He yes. didn't get arrested. We don't yeah. take the criminals. At least he, the dolphin's not taken from the U. I still say go Gators. Ooh. You want to go down that route? Yeah. Because if they did take from the U, all they'd have is Hall of Famers. Huh. Listen, huh. Ray Lewis, Ed Reed, Andre Johnson, oh, we're Frank talking Gore. Well, well, did you say Andre Johnson? I did say Andre Johnson. Hall of Fame for what? Wide receiver. In what? College? In NFL? What's NFL stand for you? Unfortunately, there's no U in it, so it's hard for me to come up with one. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Andre Johnson is not making the Hall of Fame in the NFL. Reggie Wayne? Reggie Wayne should. Yeah, thank you. I'm not saying he will, but he should. Again, and I've said this before, but probably what I've said before is not on the internet yet, and probably never will be, but wide receiver, least populated position in the Hall of Fame. It is. But if you're from the... Oh, Michael Irvin? He made it. And he should. And where is he from? The U. I'm not, I'm not, oh, Reggie Wayne. Oh, also... Oh, my God. Yeah, he should be. But we're getting way off topic. But oh, my God. We're back on this. So, basically, I think your team is decent. Thank you. It's not elite, but it's not poor. No. You want to talk about poor. a poor team? We can pull up other players in that league's roster. Yeah. We're for not instance, going to, though. For instance, the gentleman who's starting running backs are DeMarco Murray and Isaac Redman. 
Yes. Or him or the Jet Ooh. fan. By the way, it Don't. sucks to be a Jet fan. It does. Don't draft Jets. And uh, there's no viable Jet draftable. Not even no. a kicker. No. no. He, the guy Nothing drafted Stephen. The guy he drafted Stephen Hill. Geno Smith is taking the playoffs this year. Fantasy eggplant. Okay, he needs to go off screen, <laughs> and we'll see you later. <laughs>